let's go together through the uh, setup of the game. Um, first of all, you have to find which um, uh, which faction are you playing and get your deck together. Um, the deck size is um, has to be about 45. I mean. The official rules stipulate that your deck size should be 45 plus cards. Uh, my group, we're playing with the rules that your uh, deck has to be 60 plus cards. So it depends on your house rule and how you how you how you go about it. Um, we play according to tournament rules, which stipulate that the minimum size of your deck should be 60. So this is it. Um, then you need your ambassador. For example, in this example, uh, Dylan. Um, the ambassadors are cards which state that they are the starting ambassadors, so you have to have uh, one of those in your for your deck. You can only have one, and it's the one which you are starting with. So in this case, it would be a Minbari starting ambassador. So I would be playing a Minbari faction by that. Um, and then you need uh, three cards for your starting hand, um, which you which you select. Uh, select deliberately. Um, you select which ones you take uh, into your hand. We'll talk about those in a, in a few moments. Um, you start, set up your influence, which start uh, at 4. Uh, influence of your rating, thus you start again with 4 available influence. Um, your unrest is 1, unless you are playing something else. For example, um, William Morgan Class Clark says your faction's unrest begins at two. So, if your ambassador sets uh, then unrest at two, you would change the unrest uh, to two. Otherwise, you start with unrest one. Um, I think the uh, uh, League of Nine Worlds also starts at two, which means that the uh, it kind of represents that different races or species within the. Um, League of Non-Aligned Worlds uh, do not have such a peaceful understanding of each other. <laughs> so this is it. And then you set up your tensions. In this case, this would be a Minbari uh, faction. Means that I would be having, for example, I'd say the blue one is the uh, Earth player. He's the only one which tension, which I have tensions to at uh, three. And all other players, let's say this is a three-player game, um, or or four player game beside myself so the other players I play with have uh, I do have tensions uh, at two. If you're set up like this um, the one thing I showed you about is that you select three cards which you uh, take into your hand as your opening hand. Um, these cards there is only one rule according to these cards these cards cannot be the same of uh, the same type or cannot have more than one card of the same type means that uh, if you have a location on your card you cannot have another location if you have a character you cannot have another character so um, you can select three different types of cards for example in this case this would be a mint bar for a location a character for example in glory aid and an agenda in this case power politics um, this is all from the uh, start pack um, and it kind of um, is one of the standard standard uh, openings for uh, for the starter pack. It would give you a nice, uh, rather cheap, let's say, um, only four influence costing character, uh, which gives you another three diplomacy for diplomacy conflicts as you will be, would be playing power politics which also gives you another one diplomacy, means seven, and uh, it would give you the possibility to start diplomacy conflicts uh, out of power politics without using a conflict card, because the agenda has the ability to generate conflicts out of the, you would have the buffer to generate conflicts out of the agenda by applying nine influence when initiating them. Um, so this could be a good possibility. Uh, Mint bar would give you another strength uh, if you would win a conflict and gain influence or if you would gain influence from any, any conflict uh, you could gain another one through rotating Mint bar. So this is a standard, I would say this is a standard setup for the Mint Bari starter pack faction if you are playing against anybody. But um, if I would be playing against uh, a human player, I would probably select a different hand of uh, starting cards just to mess with it a bit. <laughs> 
And I would go for a rather uh, provocative and more uh, more nasty opening with maybe also, uh, as you can see, I have more uh, cards leaning towards a military strategy. I have a Midbari tank uh, captain with 4-3 uh, influence, which would enter play really, really fast. Um, it would give me a leadership of two, which I could use in military conflicts when leading fleets. Um, I would have uh, finished the war, which would give me chance to uh, rise my, in, uh, rise my, uh, raise my tensions towards the humans by one by losing one influence, which would be okayish, I would say. And if my tension would be at five, I could declare war conflicts against any human faction, even if I'm not at war, which is uh, which is quite powerful. And uh, to secure the conflicts with a nice fleet, I would take uh, maybe the first better fleet, uh, first better fleet into my hand. It costs ten, but it's the rather cheapest uh, fleet I could use um, when uh, dealing with the start pack, because any other fleets are just uh, protective or uh, yeah fleets which could be used only in conflicts targeting me. Um, and as war conflicts would target the other faction, I could not, would not be able to use it. So um, this one is, gives me nine military, which is kind of enough for the start of the game to uh, get your ball rolling, I would say. Um, so this would be a good, maybe a fun opening towards um, an Earth player if he's on the table. Um, Maybe you could use uh, different, if you want, I mean, this would be a one side, uh, one trick pony with diplomacy, with, because uh, if you look at your ambassador, Dylan also has just diplomacy and leadership, um, means if you want to prevent maybe some, um, let's say, intrigue conflicts happening uh, towards you, you could uh, exchange the Minbari 8 for, let's say, Lanier, who has... Uh, Intrigue of three, so you could also play that one and uh, use also maybe his um, special power as an assistant, uh, which could give uh, increased uh, stats to your ambassador or um, make the next uh, card your ambassador is sponsoring cheaper by one. So those would be the two possibilities here. Um, if you have your three cards and if you have your ambassador in play, you are ready and your all your tokens and uh, stats set up, you are ready to play.